Hello everybody, my name is Craig Bennett and today I'm getting to a video on a honeypot that has gotten attacked almost a quarter of a million times. And for, for those who don't know what a honeypot is, it's basically a decoy that hackers try to attack, try to get into, and everything is being logged. Uh, the, the source as far as where they're at, how they're trying to get in, and all this other stuff. In fact, I can show you. The actual amount that uh, this log, let's see if I can get it, it was 244,350 times this has been attacked and this has only been up for uh, a couple weeks, um, so it's not that long at all and it's obviously been attacked worldwide. Now what a honeypot does, to show you the value of it, is it shows you the site that they tried to go through. Um, and, and it's like even down to for the SSH st stuff, it shows you the type of passwords they try to use, the type of usernames they try to use, and all the other stuff. And for example, like password being password, this, this is like kind of why everybody says don't use your password as password. Well, this is exactly why. Um, it, it, it cannot be even more clear. And apparently, Raspberry is um, is popular on this list. I saw it a number of times. Let's see, Raspberry. Let's see, admin, whatever that is. A few different ways to do an admin, and so I'm mean, like, you can go through, and you can download this. By the way, I will leave a link down below to this. So you can actually take a look at this, download it, and um, and feel free to go through it and see see what you can find, see what you find that's interesting and whatnot. And also, if you click on these, these uh, will take you to the actual, the actual heat maps. So, and if you do run into problems, let me know. But um, with that, this uh, shows you quite a bit of information, which is kind of surprising. So as far as that goes, one of the cool things with the heat map is it tells you where the abouts the the hacker was, or at least the uh, location that the, um, the the last. If they're using a VPN, then this is where their VPN was. If they're using if it, this has come from their own place, then this is where it was. So basically, uh, where where it was on the internet before it hits the uh, server to honeypot and, and we can get down to the type of attacks so of all of them then we get into just SSH, Telnet, FTP, a HTTP, IRC and, and it's pretty much just United States on that one and I think that's just research and stuff on, on that then we got SQL which is pretty much China I, d I don't know why we got, uh, let me back out of this. It's unknown. It's a mixture of things that I can't figure out. Um, it's mostly all over the place. Then we got VNC. So basically this should give you an idea on what's being hit more, uh, what, what, um, where it's supposed to be in hits, um, like say for example, South America, India, Russia, and whatever. So you can see all the locations and whatever, and, and so on. Now, again, one thing to note is just because, um, say for example, it says, oh, it came from China or Turkey or whatever, it doesn't mean that the hacker actually was in China or whatever. It, it just means that the if the hacker might be there or they might have been using some type of proxy or something that uh before it got off that and and went on to the internet and to attack your device uh that that's where it, it was last seen so that's what you got to keep in mind but as far as that goes if you got any questions anything else then let me know and i'll try and answer as quickly as possible if you want me to cover this any more in depth, then feel free to let me know. And I just figured out some people who want to get into cybersecurity, 
you can go through this and see what the real world's like. Anyways, like, subscribe, share, and whatnot, and I'll see you next video. Hope you have a great day. Especially share this. Share this one with uh, people who, who um, are not security-minded.